everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is time for five more random facts about Maine. This is a fairly new series to my channel. Today we will be doing facts number 11 through 15. There's a playlist link down below if you want to see the previous facts. And I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. The site that I was getting facts from, I kind of picked through the ones that I liked. So I looked for something else, and now I'm on a site where it's actually like a main trivia quiz. So without seeing the answers, I'm going to answer five of these questions to see if I know the answer. And then I will look at the answer, and then we can chat about it for a little bit. So I'm going to feel really stupid because I don't know very much. I really don't. <laughs> the first one I know I can get right, so we're going with it. What is the capital of Maine? Do you know? Do you know your capitals? My mother used to know the capital of every state in the United States, and I'm sure there was a time that I learned them all, but I don't remember them. I don't know if I could name, I don't even think I could name half, probably not even close to half. I don't think I could put every state on the map. I really don't. The state capital of Maine is Augusta, so now I'm going to click on there and see what it says about it. Augusta. Augusta, Maine and Juneau, Alaska, are the only state capitals with names of months in them. August happens to be my birthday month. So that's all it says about that. That's interesting. Not really. <laughs> Let's go back to the questions. Okay, now I'm going to feel really stupid about this one. Geography and things like that, that was not my forte. I find it very interesting, but for some reason I never could really absorb and retain what I learned. What is the only interstate highway in Maine, not counting three-digit extensions? I don't even know what a three-digit extension is. Now, dumb, I want to say I-95. Doesn't the I stand for interstate? I don't even know. It better be I-95, so let's click. I-95. Phew! <laughs> it runs from Miami, Florida to the U.S.-Canadian border near Holton, Maine. That's right. If I get on I-95 and just stay on it, we can get to Florida. Let's go! We are on fact number 13. Local dialect. What is a dooryard? I've been in Maine my entire life, and I don't know what a dooryard is. A dooryard. Is it just the part of the yard in front of the door? I don't know! It might be a, an up Maine term. Southern Maine is almost like its own little country. It's very different from up Maine. Okay, I have to make a guess. What is a dooryard? You guys are probably laughing, and you all know what it is. A, a door yard. I'm just going to say it's the front yard. It's the area of one's property nearest the door. Only Mainers need a special name for that. Door yard. It says, if your mom told you to play outside but not to leave the door yard, you'd better know what it means. Next. It's kind of fun because I get to take a test. Did we do this one? What is Maine's state animal? <gasps> I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess the Maine Coon Cat. Let's see. Oh, how stupid I am. It's the moose. <laughs> I thought I was right. Oh, a moose's antlers alone may weigh up to 50 pounds. Glad I don't have antlers. I carry enough weight around. Thank you very much. <laughs> and let's do one more. What is the state fish of Maine? My father was a lobsterman. I should know this. I didn't know we had a state fish. It could be salmon. It could be trout. I don't know. They didn't even narrow it down to fresh water or salt water. That would help me a little bit. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> I'd love for it to be haddock because that's my favorite fish. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with salmon. <sighs> landlocked salmon. I don't know what landlocked means. <laughs> Instead of making fantastic journeys like the mighty salmon, 
The landlocked salmon lives out its life in a quiet lake. You know the salmon that you see on TV that they're always, they have to jump up over a waterfall to get to wherever they're going? Go in the other direction. It's easier that way. <laughs> landlocked. They just live in a quiet lake. I hope it's not a lake I'm swimming in. I'm not afraid of fish, but boy, it kind of freaks me out when I'm swimming in a lake or even at the ocean and there's a fish next to me. That is weird. But at the beach, I mean, I'm always like afraid I'm going to step on a crab or something. Do not like. There's our five facts. I think I will do the Q&A again next time. There's probably enough to do a few more. So that was kind of cool and I will be back with more soon. Bye!